I'm Nalani. And I'm Lily. And we're the AmeriCorps senior leaders for this year. Now, you have required Zello quizzes to take, but how do you get to these Zello quizzes? You're going to click on the right hand corner of the arrow and click on the blue sign in to Zello button. It's going to take you to Zello, it will automatically sign you into Zello. You know these quizzes may take time, but we promise it's worth the effort. You will find out more about yourself that will help you with your college and career choices. When I took these as a sophomore, I didn't really understand why, but now as a senior, I am super thankful that I took these so I can look back on them when applying for colleges and determining a major. First, there are four quizzes you will need to take under the left column called About Me, all of which will help you find out more about yourself and possible career choices. First is the Matchmaker quiz, which uses your interests. Now, maybe your junior interests don't resemble your sophomore interests. To reset the matchmaker quiz, you're going to go into the About Me, and it will take you to your dashboard. Once on your dashboard, you will see a three dots by a View All button. You're going to click on that. It's going to, you're going to click the Reset Matchmaker. A little window will pop up. You're going to click Yes, Reset. Next is the personality style quiz, which uses your type of personality style. Then is the learning style quiz, which uses your type of learning style. Finally is the skills lab. This will help determine what careers you will enjoy with the skills that you have. Next, there are two things you need to do under the explore options column. The first one is careers. You're going to click on that and go into your careers. Through your matchmaker, it's going to show you careers that you could possibly be good at. The first thing one that we're going to click on is account manager. It's going to say, like this career, save it. You need to save two to five careers in this column. The next one that you have to save are schools, and you're going to do the same process and click on schools that you like and save them. And again, you need to save two to five schools. Next, under core lessons, you only have to take one quiz, which is called transition to high school. This helps you discover the many ways in which high school differs from junior high, such as what to look forward to in high school, confidence boosters, ways to get help, how to follow your interests and how to live it up in high school. Now, we know that you cannot see the transition to high school on our screen, but that is because we are seniors. And you see the career backup plans. That is where your transition to high school will be. That is the one you will click on. After taking these tests, your path to high school should be much easier to plan. Use the results to think about classes that you will take in the future. The classes that you take and the semester grades that you get now will show on your transcript which colleges will look at when you apply. It's really helpful to know what careers you're interested in because then you're able to choose classes that are career oriented. College may seem far away, but it's a very smart idea to begin your planning now 